If you're the type of person who wants a proper rugged off-roader that looks like something the army might use, then allow me to introduce you to the Jeep Wrangler, a 4x4 inspired by the old Willys Jeep of World War II. Of course, from the outside, it certainly fits the bill with these large wheel arches. It looks like it's flexing its muscles, a rear-mounted spare tyre, and a paint job that, I don't know, maybe Batman would choose if he moved to the countryside. But what's it like as a whole package? Well, its rugged character starts before you've even got in, because when you press the key, it sounds like someone unbolting a large cellar door. And once you climb in, <laughs> emphasis on climb, there are a few other features in here that give you that raw and rustic feel as well, like this old school letterbox light windscreen, the removable roof panels, and as always, Jeeps dotted around some emblem Easter eggs as well. Build quality wise, everything, everything seems solid. There are a lot of scratchy plastics dotted around, but that can be said for a lot of down and out 4x4s, the Land Rover Defender included. There are a lot of toys though. You get the Uconnect touchscreen, which has USB compatibility and sat nav. You get cruise control, climate control, and you even get heated leather seats. You get a few useful storage compartments and netting thrown in as well, including this center console that's so big, it can swallow a war and peace sized owner's manual. Once you climb through these submarine-like doors, watch your head. Space in here isn't actually too bad, especially when it comes to headroom. We would recommend going for the four-door Wrangler though, as the two doors just, it's just a bit of a nuisance. Swing the tailgate open and pop this glass, and you've got almost 500 litres of storage space. And this, this rubber mass just makes it a bit more hard wearing as well. You can fold these seats down and these side headrests will go down themselves, but you will have to take this middle one out. And when you fold these down, you get 935 litres to play around with. go for the V6 petrol or the torque at 197 brake horsepower 2.8 litre diesel that we've got this can sprint from 0 to 62 in under 11 seconds and as you can probably tell by me revving it out yes it's very loud you can hear it whistling and grumbling under the bonnet but in my opinion with a car like this that's all part of the experience there are aspects of its road manners that will most likely rub most drivers up the wrong way though like it's vague steering it's questionable body control when you take it into a corner at speed and the fact that it can shake when you hit large bumps on the road it's manageable if you are sensible but there's no denying that day to day the wrangler is a bit of a monster and if you want to channel those mammoth characteristics and four-wheel drive then you're going to want to take it off-road Here, it's a different story though, as the Wrangler can pretty much climb, mount or scale anything. Ideal, of course, if you live on a farm. Its chunky tyres and substantial ground clearance, of course, help here as well. There's also something called shift on the fly, which allows you to change between two-wheel drive and maximum grip four-wheel drive when on the move by the flick of a lever. Although, this is obviously set up for left-hand drive models. Although some prefer manual gearboxes when it comes to driving off-road, the five-speed automatic that we've got is probably your best all-round bet because, well, the manual requires a lot of work and we, it just ends up taking a lot out here. The Jeep Wrangler definitely isn't cheap though, starting between 30 and 32,000 pound. To put that in perspective, the Land Rover Defender starts from around 23 grand. But saying that, some of the Jeep's equipment's never even been available in the Defender. The Wrangler is a real mean machine off-road, and sure, there are certain elements of its drive and its interior that could do with some work, but this model's almost 10 years old if you look past its numerous refreshes. Plus, 
those who are after off-roading prowess probably won't care about the other stuff. Whether you go for this or the nearly new Defender will of course come down to badge loyalties and price because both of them are highly capable off-road. What do you think of the Jeep Wrangler? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the inquire button to find out more details about this car or for any other models, visit carkeys.co.uk. And to watch more reviews, click one of the links on screen now.